<laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, Christians about your friends and may the Lord bless us for this day and the coming to come. Before we start yesterday, we spoke about uh, why the Muhammadan they attack uh, Paul. And if you look and you see all those who call themselves Ustad or uh, the, the one who take the stage these days, they're doing the businessmen. All of them, they share one thing. When they speak about Christianity, they attack Paul. But if we go and we will see, we study, we will see Muhammad, he was a thief. who copy a lot of things from Paul. In the same time, how come those Ustad, they knew about Paul, he was a bad person, as they claim. But yet their prophet never said one word against Paul. Is that because Muhammad was ignorant and they are the educated? Is that because they are smart and Muhammad was stupid? Or because it is copy paste, somebody said something about Paul and the rest to follow. If we go in the Quran, this is just a reminder of what we said yesterday. If you go in the Quran, you will find that Paul is mentioned in the Quran, at least by their scholars, if not exactly in the Quran. <clears throat> But it's mentioned, for sure, in chapter 36, verse number 14, speaking about three messengers, which is sent by Allah. And the first two messengers were sent, they, they accused him of lying. And then the third messenger was Paul. Go check him, Nicotheer, check it, Lucy, check all interpretation. You will find that Paul is a third messenger. So, what happened? Why Paul was not long time ago for the Muslims? And we're talking about the scholars, the quality, not those potatoes who go and grow a beer today and they claim that they have knowledge. YouTubers. Why those scholars, they speak goodly about Paul. As an example, book of the Sharh uh, 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 al-Bari, very important books for the Muhammadan, speak about Paul being a messenger of God. Uh, so very famous, big deal, big shot scholars they speak about Paul goodly then why you are attacking Paul secondly can you find me one teaching of Paul you can say it's wrong Muslims actually your prophet is a, he stole a lot of things from Paul as an example gambling and uh, 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 drinking drunking etc this is a statement of Paul your prophet he took it and he would another wrong he stole it from him you know, I cannot find more funny argument when the Muslims say Paul is the one who fabricated Christianity. When they go in the stage, they say that the book of Paul written after the Gospels. So how he fabricated Christianity? They are, their argument is very silly. They are a bunch of kids. They have no idea what they are talking about. Secondly, if Paul is the one who fabricated something, well, there is a 12 disciples and none of them reject what Paul is saying. And none of what Paul is saying reject what the disciples are saying. So it's very, very funny. You know, they say to you that the one who come with the Trinity is Paul. Well, isn't it John? Isn't it Luke? Isn't it Mark? I mean, isn't it the Gospels, all of them? They say and they speak of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, shame on you. So the pagan Muhammadan, who followed the pagan Muhammad, they accused Paul, for Paul expose people like them. Now, we heard Muslims for centuries saying to us and to, uh, to themselves that Muhammad was a person who followed Abraham. You know, uh, uh, the Messiah said, if you are the, to the Jews, to the real people, the Jews, the Jews who they are really from Abraham, not like those you know, Muhammad, and Muhammad had nothing to do with Abraham. The Muslim, they claim, uh, I made a video about it. You can go and watch it. Uh, Muhammad, he claimed that he is from the children of Ishmael, but we prove it clearly that this is going to be true. You know, uh, Ishmael, he married from Egyptian women. So, and he is a son of Egyptian women. So how his sons are Arab. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so uh, <clears throat> when when the Jews they spoke to uh, uh, the Messiah, he said to them, "If Abraham is your father, 
you do the work of your father. But they don't do the work of his father, of their father. And this is for the Jews who they are literally from, uh, from him. They get the right of birth. They got the right of birth, yet the Messiah is saying to them, if you are a children of your father, you do the work of your father. So even the Messiah, our Lord, and he is the only master we obey, he said clearly that to be of Abraham, you do what Abraham do. So what Muhammad and have to do with Abraham? Muhammad is a person who kisses stone, go around the stone, claim that if you touch a stone, the stone erase your sin. Is that the teaching of Abraham? Or, or Abraham, he fought, he fought against bowing down in front of stones and kissing stones. How you claim that you are from Abraham? But you do the act of paganism. They said, Abraham is our father, they replied. And he said to them, if you were the children of Abraham, you would work the work of Abraham. Do Muhammadan work the work of Abraham? And this is John chapter 8, verse number 39. Nothing in Islam is even close, close to Abraham teaching. Not even close. Even if Muhammad and Muslim Muslims they try to copy and to resemble, like a Chinese uh, manufacturer trying to make a brand look real, but Muhammad he feel badly. The Muslim when they say to us Muhammad was a prophet at the age of forty years. Question: What was Muhammad religion before the age of forty years? Do we have any Muslim in the chat? Do we have any Muslim in the chat to answer us? <clears throat> I apologize for those who say hello and shalom. I saw from Indonesia, Philippines, etc. God bless you. I apologize not answering. I prefer to focus on my topic. Uh, any Muslim can tell us what Muhammad religion was before he became a prophet at the age of 40? Okay. Well, he was a pagan. And guess what? The Muslim, they say, it doesn't say that, CP. Uh, this is Quran. This is a weak hadith, CP. Uh, this is Quran. Uh, this is weak Quran, CP. Okay, this is weak Quran. We go with it then. This is your Quran. Chapter 42, verse number 52. Chapter what? 42, verse number 52. Read carefully, Muhammadan. Read carefully. And thus have we, by our command, sent inspiration to thee. By the way, the translation here is false. It doesn't say by our command, send inspiration to, you know, this is by our command, but it says, uh, we send uh, our spirit to thee, not inspiration to thee. Uh, to make the translation accurate, uh, we uh, inspire to you our spirit by our commands. This will make it more accurate. Though knowest not before and look, the Muslim they put the word "board" before between two brackets for us, to, so you can understand what was revelation. So Muhammad he don't know anything about revelation before the age, or before the date when the angel Jibril, the squeezer, you know, his name is the squeezer in Islam. He squeezed you. He squeezed Muhammad. He did not know anything about revelation, and we will go back to that. And what was faith? So Muhammad have zero revelation. 
zero faith and he do not know about them anything. Do you see it, people? Do you see it? By the way, for those who are listening, later we will go to the quality of life account and we will do uh, we will be live on there if you like to join us. So you know not before today. What is revelation? A person who know the teaching of Abraham, he knew revelation. Correct? He knew to worship one God, his name is Yahweh, etc. So what Muhammad was worshipping? Muhammad even, even never mentioned the word Yahweh. He don't even know what it is. So you do not know anything about revelation. You see, if a, if a person spoke to me, he's not saying to him before, before today, uh, you did not receive a revelation. He said, you know not. So we send you a revelation. But before that day, you know not anything about revelation. That's mean I'm speaking to a person who is zero in knowledge of revelation. He don't know what Abraham, he do not know what Jesus, he do not know what Isaac, he do not know what Israel, he do not know anything. And the Quran confirm that he know not anything, have no knowledge. What the Muslim will say? Listen to the Muslim's answers and you would die laughing. Actually, I wish I can see some Muslims in the chat giving us answers. So Muhammad, the pagan, confirming the Quran, he have no revelation and he have no faith. No faith. And you do not know what faith. I mean, look what this is about. Not only he do not know revelation, he have no faith in the true God, whoever that God is. Do you see it, Muslims? Please don't use words unless we have to, like, you know, some people using the word donkey, etc. We use it uh, uh, to, to quote the Quran, to say something useful. Uh, you know, try, try to be nicer, my friend. Okay? Say it when, when there is a need for it. Say it when there is a need for it. Like I say, he left as a donkey, he came as a horse. You know, that's it. The Quran says the similarity of those who carry the Torah is the same as donkeys carry books. Say it when there, there is need for it. And here we see that the, 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 the Muhammadan, they are carrying the Torah. They speak of the Torah. They claim that the Torah even belong to, to their God. And then we find that the one who come to them with the knowledge he have zero information about the Torah he have zero information about the revelation of the gospel he have zero faith in anything so how this person will teach us how a person confirmed in your own cult book a book made by him actually this book the author of this book all of us we knew that Muhammad the thief he stole maybe 90% of the book from you see all the verses Muhammad he made about his private part, about his wives, about sexual things, is made by him. Most of the rest is a story from the book of Warak al -Nofel. The booty, you know, things about like, th th things happen in the moment, supposedly. As you know, Warak al -Nofel was making a book in Arabic and even the Muslims they confirm that, and that's supposedly the Arabic gospel. The fact this is the, 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 the fabricated gospel, which is called the Quran. If you go in the Hadith, you will find this is confirmed. By the Muslims' hands. Thank you for confirming that to us and bringing some of the truth about the fabrication or the fraud. So you will see here when Muhammad, he went uh, to the cave and the angel, he squeezed him three times, ordering him to read, which is funny. Then after that, his wife, she took him 
to Waraq ibn Nawfal and I believe strongly Waraq ibn Nawfal is the true father of Muhammad. It says here, Waraqa was the son of paternal uncle, i.e. her father, brother, who during the pre-Islamic period became a Christian. In fact, he did not become a Christian. He became Nasara. Nasara is like Jehovah's Witnesses, false Christian cult. And he used to write Arabic writing, and he used to write the gospel in Arabic. Where is that gospel in Arabic? It confirmed that in the time of Muhammad, by the hand of the Muhammadan, by the witnessing of the wife of Muhammad, that in the time of Muhammad, there is Arabic gospel. What is that? What is that? And if there was Arabic gospel, he was translating from which language? The Quran described the gospel as Injil. That's mean Muhammad he never saw any book except a Greek book. Otherwise, why Allah, if Aka Muhammad, he is using the word Injil to describe the gospel? Chapter 3, verse 3. Chapter 3, verse 48. Chapter 3, verse number 65, 546, 547, 566, 568. I mean, tons of verses in the Quran saying and using the word Injil. And the funny, the Muhammadan, they say that Jesus was sent to the Hebrew, to the Israelis, yet his book is Injil. <laughs> Don't you think he got the wrong name? <laughs> I mean, I write a book for the Hebrew and I use a Greek word. Uh, you, know, you know, like uh, I write a book for uh, for the Indonesian and I use Japanese. I mean, hilarious religion. So Muhammad, obviously, he know not what is revelation. And he is just a person who copy what he hear from people or before him. So they say Injil, he say Injil. They say Torah, he don't know what Torah mean. Actually, not a single Muslim, he knew what the word Torah mean. Not a single Muslim knew what the word Injil mean. When they say to you in English, gospel, in fact, it doesn't say gospel, it says Injil. Gospel is a translation for Injil, right? Yeah. But Injil, which is the good news. Why you are using a Greek word? Why Allah, he chose a Greek word? Was Allah a Greek? Maybe he was a Greek philosopher. Maybe he was living between the Greek Allah. Maybe Allah, he was he got married from Venus. If you remember in the Quran, we are speaking about the two angels who sent down to earth, Harut and Marut. Harut and Marut sent by Allah to open Harry Potter school. And we made a, you know videos about it. And the purpose of this Harry Potter school is to teach magic to the human being. Read carefully. It says here, and and which the magic which was revealed to the two angels in Babel. So Allah He sent them in the elevator of Babel Tower. <laughs> Harut and Marut they come down, and what they did, they will not teach anyone until He signed a disclaimer. They say to them, "We are teaching you only to make a husband and wife get divorced from each other." Have you ever heard of a silly holy book like this? God, he sent, a, sent teachers and they are angels to open a school of Harry Potter to teach magic and the purpose, the noble purpose of this magic to make the husband and the wife fight. So if your wife, she hit you with her shoe, that because of Harut and Marut and Allah teaching. If you are fighting with your wife as we speak, that's because Allah, he opened the school of Harry Potter in the Babylon. And then many, they joined the school and they signed disclaimer. Hello, hello, sign, sign here. Warning, warning. We are not teaching you to become an infidel. We are teaching you only to cause division. I mean, look at this stupidity. Read carefully. And from those two angels, people learn that by which they cause division between the man and the wife. Thank you, angels. I mean, those are very useful angels. 
uh, angels, are you the one behind uh, the mother-in-law involvement in marriage? You must be. Like, what do you do exactly? What do you do? You say like, Hashtarut, Harut, Marut, Tarut, Tarut. And then the guy and the wife start fighting. Shame on you. I'm going to divorce you. I'm going to divorce you first. I never love you anyway. You are an idiot. You don't look at yourself in the mirror. The husband, he say, listen to me. You have no idea what you are doing. I am going to show you what I can do. And now I'm following the instruction manual of Harut and Marut. Right? That is the stupidity of Islam. Amazing stupidity and garbage in, garbage out. A Muslim, he say to me, uh, prove to me prophecy in Matthew chapter 2, verse number 23, and I will convert to Christianity. My friend, I find it hilarious that you Muslim saying to me, prove to me a prophecy. Your Quran says that Jesus can raise people from death. He can heal the leper. He can make the blind see. He is alive and ten now. And your majesty is saying to me, prove to me and I will convert. Uh, no, I don't want you to convert. If you convert, I will be laughing at who? Thank you. Prove to me. Right? Who? To you? About what? And then we say that uh, 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 he will be called. Who They called him already. Isn't you Muslim? You call his followers Nasara? Why the name Nasara? Where the Nasara coming from? Either because he is from Nazaran, no, right in the Nazaran, and the, the word which is coming from the word poor. This is a poor city. So you are an ignorant. You do not know your religion. You are the same as Muhammad. Prove to me that Jesus is Nazaran and he is a prophesy he will be uh, 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 from the Nasara. Is, are you there? <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, soon we will be in the quality of life account. As you see, we proved to you in two seconds. We don't much have much time because people will be waiting for us right now in the other account. Uh, so soon we will be in the quality of life Christian coffee house meeting. We schedule at uh, uh, after three minutes from now actually to go live there. Uh, this is why we cannot continue in this channel. So if you don't mind, let me uh, post the link for you. Join us there and don't forget please to subscribe to that account. People will be waiting for us right now in the other account. Uh, so soon, all right, we will be in the quality of life. Join us there. We will be live in the quality of life in a few minutes from now, if you don't mind. I want to say thank you for being with us. And uh, in that account, we don't talk about Islam, just take a note. We talk about different topics. This is why we have that account to separate between topics. And don't forget to subscribe to that account about social life, about things to do, things not to do, etc. It's a, it's a, it's a nice, uh, let us say, uh, uh, coffee shop where we sit and relax and we talk about things which is useful for us. Here we are debating a cult. And uh, as you see, we are, I cannot even call it debating a cult because this is the cult. You, cannot, you do not need to debate it. I mean, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, who in the world would believe that there's a God? If you believe in him, he will give you a lot of women for boom, boom. I mean, come on. I mean, the idea itself is silly. Even 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 a rabbit will not believe in it. Who want to believe that there is a God? If you believe in him and kill some people around you who don't believe in him, he will give you a reward and he will give you boys. What boys? What the boys will do? The boys are so white and like pearls. White like pearls? You know, I see the left, they are taking statues of white people. What about you take the Quran who promises me white women? the white supremacist God and those women they are so white to the point we will see the marrow of the bones by the way I like the marrow of the bones it's my favorite food 
Do you see it? The obsessed God with white color. I mean, not only they have to be white, those women, they are so white to the point we can see through. They are transparent and we can see through the marrow of their bones. Fantastical. It's my favorite food. Double sound? Do you see it? Ah, for how long this double sound is working? Don't tell me it's since we started. That the double sound started now or from the beginning? I hope not from the beginning. How we have double sound? Let me see. Why the double sound happening? Last three minutes? Ah, maybe this is Jibreel. What you were hearing like, brothers and sisters, sister, sister, sister. Allah will promise you, promise you, promise you, promise beautiful women, 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 who they are so white, 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 white. And even when you look at their body, 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 you can see through, 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 for they are so white to the point they are transparent, parent, 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 parent. Brothers and sisters, sister, sister, sister. You will see through the bones, 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 bones. Oh, the, the dogs are getting crazy when I said bones, bones, bones. No, no, this is not for you, you, you. This is for us. Hello, 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 hello. What kind of God you promised me such a promise, 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 promise. This is God. I mean, to believe in such a God, you have to be very godly person. To accept that God will enslave for you boys and thousands of women for sex. And all of them, they are white. Because Allah don't like a different color, sorry. He is a white supremacist. He considers white is the best color of a beauty. Right? Right or wrong, Muslims? This is the truth about your cult. Chapter 56, verse number 17. Chapter 76, verse number 19. What a shameful cult. You will be sitting, brother, over couches, brother, and around them, brother, they will be serving you boys who they are so white, like pearls. For sure, Islam is from the true God. I'm truly, truly convinced. Who can argue with that? Please join us. We will be in the other account, Quality of Life, in a few minutes from now. And again, I will post the link for you guys. So you can click and be there. And don't forget to subscribe, please, there. So uh, uh, you will be always notified about that account too. And this is the link again. Give me just a few minutes and we will start live in the other place. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you again, this is the Christian Prince, your brother, who was with you. And we pray that the Lord will guide us. We pray that the Muslims will see the truth. We love them. We don't hate them. And we will never teach hate against them. They are poor people who have been misguided, misleaded. And they are uh, driven by the devil to accept a God who promised virgins. And each time you sleep with the virgin, he make it virgin again. I mean, what's wrong with this God? I just step with the woman. I will make her virgin. Okay, but I stepped with her already. So what the point? I will make her for you virgin. Okay, but God, I did sleep with her already. She lost her virginity. I may make a virgin. But don't you think this is a cheating and stupid? What the point? What the point of making a woman? You step with her already a second ago. Virgin again. Virgin. The obsessed nation of virgins. I want to make her a virgin, but this is a cheating. Are you going to put like some uh, kind of a cream or something, black it there, or what you would do? I will make her a virgin. If it God can't, come on, come on. No, but I just step with her. I said she would make a virgin because this is better for you. She's a virgin. 
You don't want to sleep with women when she's not a virgin. But I slept with her already. She's the same woman. I slept with her that like a thousand times already. I will make her virgin. But don't you think this is cheating? She is not a virgin no more. But it doesn't matter. I will make her virgin. This is God. So you want me to believe in a God of the virgin? Who they are not virgins? I mean, they are not even virgins. So what? Like you go and buy some crazy glue and some patch, you put it there, and that will make a virgin. But I step with the virgin. But the virgin. But virgin. Virgin. But God, the virgin. Shut up. What? Shut up. One more word, you say, I'm going to make you an ape, a monkey, and a pig like I did to the Jews, as he said in the Quran. I mean, who in the world want to believe in this garbage? That this God, if you fish in Saturday, he will make you a pig. But a man who rape a woman, he don't make him a pig. I mean, do you see the crime? If you fish in Saturday, he make you a pig. If you rape a woman in Saturday, he don't make you a pig. Hello? How many rape happen around this earth in Saturday? Why Allah don't make them pigs will solve the problem. All the evil ones will become pigs in two seconds. We are done. Stupidity is amazing. Thank you guys. See you in the other account. And here again, this is the link for it. For those who like to join us, may the Lord bless you and keep you away from the virgins because they are very dangerous. The virgins. I'm telling you, they are very dangerous. They are very, very dangerous versions. All right. See you. Take care. God bless. And we will be in the other account. Price is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. Take care. Versions. Versions. Oh, the microphone is on. Versions. I should not say that in the microphone. Versions. I'm stuck with it. That's it. I cannot, I cannot even leave it. The versions. Okay, I'm trying to close that program, but the versions is preventing me. I, I look in the screen. I see nothing but versions. What are the versions? What is the What is the thing it says in the broadcast? I'm looking at the screen. I see uh, click at versions. What is that? Something wrong with this. Uh, whoops. Do you think Allah is involved in this uh, stuff? I think Allah is practicing her reporter on me now. Versions. Okay. We end with different music. A, verse, a, a music fit with the versions. Take care. Versions. Version here, version there, version, version everywhere. Version here, version there, version, version everywhere. Versions. Absolutely. I love it, I love it. Versions. Versions. I'm telling you, there are versions. Yeah, there are. A lot of versions. Man, look at this version. Unbelievable. She is so beautiful, this version. Give me one version, I give you two for free. Versions. <laughs>